everyone. Um, now I got the chance to say Happy New Year to everyone. Um, uh, medyo super busy po ako for the past few weeks actually dahil uh, I have been preparing for the in-home caregiver program na mag-open it na nag-open pala itong um, uh, exactly January 1, 2024 at 9 a.m. Uh, with my experience as an immigration consultant, it was really 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 um frustrating kasi uh, the technical error technical error and then nag ano lang siya nagbabasa lang yung nagda-download lang yung uh, system ng immigration ng immigration refugee and citizenship Canada um sa dami po all over the world na nakalog in dun sa system nila i believe na ang laging nakikita na lang technical difficulty technical difficulty we're trying our best to fix it things like that pero nakaka-frustrate po um no matter how much prepared kayo na <clears throat> especially as an immigration consultant or as um, as an applicant um, it is difficult po kasi nga um, sobra sobra yung pressure um, kasi nga syempre um, etong mga taong ito they ha, they've been um, expecting us na matatapos natin yung ating application uh, maipapasok natin sila kasi ngayon may cap um, although by June they will gonna change but I believe na uh, I've been hearing na baka itutuloy din whatever they're doing I really wish na hindi na ituloy kasi it's really crazy uh, honestly uh, this morning at 9am hanggang 9.05, 9.010 uh, 9.09 during those first 10 minutes uh, na naka-prepare ka na, naka-ready ka na and you're trying to actually get in and log in um, unfortunately hindi siya ano, hindi siya um, nag, uh, nag-get in um, it's really like stuck, na nice, stuck yung, um, yung screen I tried to change that the Wi-Fi. I thought it's the Wi-Fi, but it's not. It's always saying technical difficult. The pressure of being an immigration consultant is nandon. Lahat ng aking client, I know their stories. I know their goals. Kung bakit gusto nilang maging uh, permanent resident dito sa Canada. And I have, uh, I have, um, I have clients who have been um, trusting and helping me. Uh, at the same time, it's kind of like a teamwork. Kasi nga, kung wala yung documents, kung hindi sila mabilis magbigay ng documents, it will gonna be impossible for me to complete the application. However, the good news is that um, I'm I'm so glad uh, mayroon uh, lahat ng aking hawak na, um, na ano na na paperwork or na application na ipasok namin lahat. So I'm really glad. Again, at the end of the day, it is still God's grace. Pag paggising ko sa umaga kanina, it was seven o'clock, two o'clock. Ako natulog kasi nga I have to prepare all the documents before at tapos ready na ako. So I woke up at seven o'clock praying to God na sana maipasok ko lahat. And thank God, uh, with the help of uh, one of my staff, um, na ipasok namin lahat yung um yung mga application namin under the in-home caregiver program. Eleven uh, thirty, I think nag-close na nakita ko nag nandoon na yung notification na close na yung uh, program na yun however the good news is that yung isa pala is naka na, uh, gaining yung isa is gaining to PR and then uh, permanent pathway yung isa so i'm really glad it was still open so i was happy um, again um, it was a difficult preparation um, i I didn't even see myself um, sitting with my family para mag, uh, mag enjoy. Uh, but again, um, I know na that's the that's the life and work of an immigration consultant. And right now, I just want to congratulate all those clients that we have na ipasok po natin. Then let's just gonna wait. Let the immigration work um, na doon sa papers nyo. And I'm hoping na i- soon um, makakuha na tayo ng AOR or whatever instruction that the uh, immigration will, would like you or us to do. For, for them to actually assess yung uh, application for permanent residency. Wa, uh, nag-open po yung um, gaining for permanent residency, home support worker, at saka um, you know, uh, PR pathway. Yun yung mga nag-open this January 1, uh, 2024 at 9 a.m. Unfortunately, as what I've said, with my experience as an immigration consultant, I was in front of the computer. It was 9.10. During those 10 minutes, it was just buffering. At the same time, it was like technical error and technical error. Actually, I was trying to keep on doing it, keep on doing it. Um, technical error palagi yung nasa screen. However, congratulations to everyone, all of my clients na, sab- na sabi ko na sa inyo na, you know, your application has been submitted except for those uh, clients na they want to go and apply for application pero they've been having hard time providing all the completed documents and those people, of course, we cannot really do that. Um, so, congratulations sa lahat ng aking client. I'm really, really happy. I'm very satisfied as an immigration consultant for this January 1, 2024 na ipasok po natin under the in-home caregiver program. 
So again, that's my experience as an immigration consultant, January 1, 2024. Yun yung pasa, yung ano yung uh, pasalubong sa akin ng immig ng ano ng, uh, ng New Year 2024. And that's the life of an immigration consultant. Again, this is Norlin Oligo Sarma. I hope you like my story and my experience as an immigration consultant. Ano yung pinaso ko yung in-home caregiver program. Have a great and prosperous, um, uh, quiet New Year to everyone. God bless.